In 2009, this disease infected millions of people. Now, it could be back. This is the swine flu. Although we managed to largely avoid it over 10 years ago, there's now a new strain of the virus. And experts think that this new strain has the potential to cause another worldwide pandemic. How likely is this to happen? What would happen if you caught this disease? And how does this virus compare to COVID-19? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you caught the swine flu. This new strand of H1N1, or swine flu, is known as the G4 virus. It comes from pigs and has been transferring to humans for a couple of years now. Based on early lab tests, this virus has remnants of the 2009 swine flu pandemic, as well as the Spanish flu, meaning that this new strain could possibly cause another worldwide pandemic. So, what would happen if you caught this disease? One-tenth of people in China who work in the pig industry have caught this new swine flu. If the G4 strain is similar to the original swine flu, here's what you could expect. If you happened to accidentally touch an infected surface or get sneezed on by someone with swine flu, then there's a chance you could get it. That's how the disease has spread. Once the virus enters your body, it might take one to four days before you really start to notice anything. And the symptoms you do experience might be pretty similar to something you've experienced before. The first day, you'd likely get a fever and some chills. At one point, you'd be sweating. And the next, your entire body might be freezing. This would also be accompanied by muscle aches and general fatigue. You'll need to stay away from people as you could easily <laughs> infect others during this time. After a day or two go by, you could also be met with a cough, runny nose and some sneezing. During the original swine flu, some patients also reported having diarrhea, but it didn't happen to everyone. At this point, just stay in your bed and rest. Drink lots of water and do what you can to heal up. The vast majority of people who catch swine flu are most likely to experience something along these lines. And after a little more than a week, you should be good as new. But there is a slight chance that these issues could get worse. If these symptoms last more than a week, you could develop pneumonia or respiratory issues. If you start to have a tough time breathing, it would be best to contact a doctor or get to a hospital. They'll be able to give you the medical treatment you need. It's quite rare that you'd die from swine flu, but not impossible. According to the Centers for Disease Control, over 150,000 people died from it in 2009. This was most likely due to the pneumonia or breathing issues that the virus can cause, or the fact that getting the flu can affect any previous medical issues that people have had. So we know what to expect if you get it, but could this G4 virus start a new pandemic? Well, according to experts, you shouldn't be too worried. At least, not yet. This G4 strain of the virus has been around for over five years and has yet to severely spread. Not only that, but it's only been able to spread from pigs to people rather than through the population. Also, remember that when swine flu was at its peak in 2009, a person who had the disease would only affect, on average, less than two people. This is less infectious than COVID-19. According to recent studies, a person with COVID-19 can infect five to six people. Not only that, but dealing with swine flu is a lot easier than dealing with COVID-19 since the virus is more similar to things we've had in our system before. COVID-19 is so dangerous because it's something humans have never experienced. That being said, we probably shouldn't just brush this off. What can we do to avoid this virus and all other viruses? 
Well, the best thing you can do is wash your hands often, don't touch your face, and practice social distancing. And while you're at it, would you wear a mask? You literally cannot mandate somebody to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people. Okay, don't be like her and just wear a mask. Now, since you're wearing a mask, what if everyone on the planet decided to wear one? Well, we'll leave that story for another What If.